Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Morrowind. Okay, so... Why would you walk up to me the second I start the video and what the hell are you wearing? Is that snakeskin? What are you? You're weird, get away from me. Anyway, so, uh, last time, we got a quest to get four flowers for the Mage's Guild. We got three of them. I believe the only one we have left to get is, uh, what the hell are the names? Willow Anther, I think. Uh, and we've been traveling quite a long bloody ways between Balmor and here, and now we're at a town called Pelagiad, I believe? Yes. So the final flowers around this area somewhere, I think. Maybe there's going to be a store or something we can buy in, I don't know. Now, quick heads up, I am recording this the day that the, the episode 8 goes up, the previous episode, so it hasn't gone live yet, so I haven't got any feedback, so anything you say on part 8, I do not as of yet know, because it actually hasn't happened yet, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Also, I've been listening to Dude Looks Like a Lady by Aerosmith on repeat for about 20 minutes, so that is stuck in my head. You need to be aware of this. Okay, whoa, what the hell? Anyway, let's uh, check around the town, and where's Snakeskin Man gone? I went to speak to him, he's just, he's just disappeared now. You know, let's get, a, let's get one of our many candles out so we can actually see what the hell we're doing, because it's getting dark now. You know what, I want this candle. There you go. What up, buddy? What do you want? Persuasion? <laughs> um... Admire or intimidate to Let's intimidate him. You're, you're wasting your time, I won't be bullied. Okay, well that put down our, uh... How much he likes us? Bit of a dick. Bit of a bit of a dick. Maybe he's got some point, or maybe he's... I mean, at the moment he doesn't do anything, but maybe there's a quest or something associated with him that might have been a bad idea, but it felt pretty good at the time. Is this snakeskin man? Yes, it is. Close to the fire, don't you? Yes, yes I do. Uh, I'll be happy to help you, stranger. I'm Kuntha. People are fairly friendly here in Pelagiad. We don't mind answering a few questions. Tell me about Pelagiad. The Empire built a little fort here to guard the roads between Vivek, Sedanine, and Balmora, and points north. Right. And then some veterans took their mustering out pay and built themselves some little farms here. And pretty soon there's a few shops and trade house. Uh, it's a pleasant little village. If you didn't know better, you'd think we were in Daggerfall or some other high rock town. Uh, apparently you know about cave rats, I guess? The cave rat is so... <laughs> I just love the idea that you would go up to a stranger in a town and be like, buddy, what do you know about cave rats? And then he, as if he's reading from a dictionary, is like, uh, the cave rat is a subterranean variety of the hardy, abundant hunter scavenger. Uh, Brad meat is tough and greasy with an unpleasant odor and taste. Nonetheless, it is cheap, abundant, and nutritious. The palatable uh, when cooked in a stew and... Mu Passed by strong, strong spites, spices. Oh, I, I, I'm too, I'm too, uh, I'm too hyper for this. This, this game's crazy. Right, so what are we doing? Uh, somewhere in what's up, Jack? Uh, we can't ask him about the flowers. So frankly, get into my sight. That's a uh, nice loot you got there. Oh, you're actually playing it, aren't you? Yeah, I can hear him strumming it. I think. Oh, come in. Hello, Jason McGrizzle. How do you know my name? I'm Commander, and this is the village. Why, then again, I guess, how would I know yours? Of Pelagiant, a little piece of the Empire right here in the heart of the Dumberist. Are you looking for someone in particular? Maybe? Weird screaming cat in the background. Angarilla of Volkel, God is the boss of Fort Pelagiad. Dralassa? Ramothran? Is the publish... Publican of the Hearthway Trade House. Nobody else important I can think of, and if you're looking for someone in jail, you need to look in the forts, of course. Well, naturally. Uh, tell me about the Dunma. Dunma, literally the dark, or cursed people, or dark elves, are the dark-skinned elven people of the East. That's some racist shit. Dark is a variously understood to mean... Where did I get A from? Dark is variously understood to mean dark-skinned, gloomy, and ill-favored by fates. The Dumber and their national character embraces these various connotations enthusiastically. In the Empire, Dark Elves is the common usage. I prefer, I prefer, you know, the stand names like uh, Dunmer, Bosmer, Altmer. Sounds cooler to me, I don't know, maybe that's, you know, me being kind of a nerd. Uh, man, I can ask you about a lot of shit. What about, uh, what's your trade? I'm a bard. You know, I had a feeling. 
As an entertainer, I share songs and stories with patrons and peasants. As a scholar, I travel the world, speaking with people and learning the lessons of history and human nature. And because a good bard must experience adventure at first hand in order to present its drama effectively, I've learned to defend myself with the noble tools of medium armor and long blade. I also have those, I think? And have mastered minor mysteries of alchemy, enchantment, and illusion. So in other words, you can train me in all of those, I guess, even though I don't see training, so maybe you're full of shit, sir. What about services? Dave the Breton, he's a trader, deals in a bit of everything. Yiller Neil is a high elf and fair smith. Shadback, I'm guessing this one's an orc. Shadback Grand Burbug is the smith at Fort Pelagiad. The Imperial Cult Shrine is at the Fort Pelagiad. Uh, with a healing altar and Yugfa, the healer sells cure potions. Dave and Dave are trainers. And, can usually, and you can usually find them at the Halfway Tavern. That's a lot of shit, I guess we should just get exploring. Okay, so who else do we have to speak to around here? I feel like there was someone else besides these guards. Is it you? No, you're a guard. Uh, let's check out the Halfway Tavern. Apparently, I was told, by the way, no one actually sleeps in Morrowind, so shops are always open, which means it's also, you know, way harder to steal things. You, uh... You look like you might be up, an Altma. Actually, you're not that tall. Okay, maybe you're not. Maybe you're a Bosma. I don't know. You're actually quite pretty for, you know, a Morrowind character. Looks better than any of the potato faces in Oblivion. I'll be happy to help you, stranger. I'm Samia. People are fairly friendly in Palaisia, and we don't mind answering a few questions. I guess you don't have... Wait, wait, wait. Mage's Guild. Look for the Mage's Guild. Halls in Balmora, Aldrun, Caldera, Wolverine Hall in Sandrath, Mora, and the Foreign Quarter in Vivac. Okay, so not here. In other words. Hmm... Some weird background ambient sound, man. Hello, Juju. Hello, Jason McGrizzle. I'm Juju, and this is the village of Pelagia. And a little piece of the... Okay... Sure... Guess no one especially important in here. Let's try and find a shop or something. Holy shit, sir. What the hell are you doing? Uh, that's... Okay, that's, um... Snakeskin man. I have been in here. Mur... Burius... Harmy vs. House. That's a... That's a hell of a name. Like, holy shit. Hello? Pleased to meet you, stranger. You plan to be in Pelagia long, then you'll want to know where the services are. I already know, I think? Yes, someone already told me. Let's hear it. Can I have your candlestick, sir? That's, that's a good point. How much weight do we have? Uh, almost maxed out. Okay, is there anything good to steal around here? Or maybe like a plant to take? Like to dance close to the fire, don't you? you keep saying that, and it's getting creepy, sir. It's getting really, really creepy. Uh, traitor. Okay, let's check in here. Oh, hoi, hoi. Okay, so you're a guard to beat the shit out of me what if I try and do something. That's a cool looking shield, man. It looks kind of like a crap. Uh, oh, it's a boo. Which I can barely highlight. Oh, it's chitin, which means it's shitting. What was that? Okay, a bunch of potions. Well, not potions, but uh, like drinks, common pants, common belt. Okay, I guess these are just regular clothes. So not going to be worth very much. I wonder if we can get away with that. Oh, time. good lord. Are you stalking me because I'm looking around the shop? I think you are. Okay. It's going to make it a bit difficult to steal from this place. Mm, is he following me now? Not at the moment. Weird. Hello. Pleased to meet you, stranger. You play. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Butter. Damn, you have a lot of crap. Uh, speaking of crap, is there anything I've got that I can sell you? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we use it. Well, actually, no. We can sell you this. The amulet. The expensive amulet. And the ring. How much is that worth? Not very much whatsoever. Let's try and get 50. Let's try and get 47. 46. Let's try and get 45. Oh, my God. You suck. I think it was only worth 43? Sure. We made, like, an extra one. All right. So, anyway. Are you selling anything I want? Glass arrows. Eh. Still right. Pauldron. It's probably better than what we have. It's heavy armor, though. I think we're good with medium. Uh, so let's try and look for something medium. Doesn't seem to have much that's medium. He seems to only have light and heavy. That's, that's not very handy at all, is it, sir? I think magic? Yes. Okay, so these are not potions exactly, but I imagine they do do something to your stats if you drink them. Kind of like alcohol, basically. I would guess. Open 100 points of target. 
Okay, so that's a really good open lock scroll, but it's very expensive. And he's got a bunch of misc. So we could sell him miscellaneous. I feel like we have a bunch that we want to get rid of. Some flower petals. Does he take soul gems by any chance? Because I think we still have a bunch of those that we... What, do we not? I thought we had like a shit ton of expensive soul gems, and I'm pretty damn sure we never sold them. Do they just not show up here because I can't sell them? I don't think that's the case. I thought they were in the magic section. Am I am I wrong? I don't see them. Let's try coming out of this and see if we can find them in the invent. Oh no, they are there now. Okay, so I guess we could just can't sell them to him. Okay, so I guess the guard patrols the shop and doesn't exactly follow me, but it just looked like he was. So if there's anything good to steal up here, we can probably get away with it because there's no one here to see us. Man, you can even pick up the bellows and the kettle. That's so damn cool. I mean, completely pointless, but very cool. Ooh, that's an expensive book. The I'll be taking that. Uh, let's quick save. Really? Didn't give me an alchemy level up? I really thought I would. Something to sell. Okay. Uh, I don't think this guy's going to take books, plus we already found out you can't sell something back to the owner, which makes sense. For the most part. I'm sure at some point in the history of man, someone has been sold something that was his originally, and he just never knew. Uh, we'll check the clock. Can I... S okay, so you can sleep in strangers' beds. Oh, do we get in trouble for that? Seemingly no. Okay, so maybe you can sleep in any bed in Morrowind. Maybe it's not an ownership thing. I don't know. Is that common pants? Yes, it is. Don't want it. Do come we'll check out this chest, though. What the hell was that? Let's jump on the bed. Folded cloth. Okay, strange. Rusted chest. It's backwards. Good going, Bethesda. Good going. There's a chest in Skyrim in one of the houses. I think it's in, um... What the hell's... Uh, the most expensive house in Skyrim, by default. I, ca I can't remember the name of the town or anything, but... Most of you are going to know the one I'm talking about. That house, there's a chest upstairs next to, uh... At the foot of the bed, I think it is. And again, in the house you buy in Skyrim. And the chest is backwards. It's always driven me freaking nuts. I actually went in the creation kit and turned it around, because, oh god, I hate it, I hate it. Right, so anyway, I think there's another building over here. In fact, we check this one. I don't think we check this one, though. Uh, dude, we must have checked this, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we did, or maybe there was just nothing in there. It doesn't sound too important. It's just, uh, just a regular person. But then again, if you don't speak to people, you never find quests, so... Maybe we should check it out. Is this... Oh, okay, it does have an entrance. Oh, it's locked. Drellis Gilu's house, level 30. So, I wonder if we wait around, is he going to come out of the house? I guess we can try that. What time is it now? 3 a.m.? Let's wait until, I don't know, like 8? Sure. And maybe we can go... No. I mean, he could still be in there at 8 a.m.? I don't know. At least we can see what we're doing now. Look at it. It's so pretty. And, you know, a retro way. Um, we already went to the trader. I think that was the same one. This, I... Could be a, either a watchtower or a dungeon? Guard tower. Okay, so... Kind of both, really. Why does this have a... Is that just a trader sign? Supplies. That is where we were, I think. This is how bad my sense of direction is. Armor. Okay, that's one thing we definitely do want. Again, I want to get rid of these damn soul gems. I'm hoping there's going to be a magic dude around here, but I don't know. Okay, so this is all kind of junk. I mean, worth stealing to sell if we can? Barely, but still probably worth it. We probably want those. Uh, no, then again, we don't, do we? Because uh, braces are not the same as um, uh, the shoulder pads. They're pauldrons. For some reason, I'm confusing the two. We do have... Yes. Oh, but they're lights. So they have three armor each. What do these have? Fifteen. So yeah, they're going to be way better for us to wear. Um, yeah, I don't know how practical it's going to be to steal it, though, with this dude, like, looking straight at me. I mean, maybe if we stand here, we can be out of it. Yeah. I really don't think it's going to work. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll, tr I'll try. But I mean, it's worth it if it does work, but... Nope, didn't think so. You know what? You can put that mall away, sir. That's okay. I'm gonna reload the game. Eventually. I love how on the load screens you get all different pictures of monsters. There's like fucking hundreds of them, man. I'll be able to help you, stranger. I am Dave. People are fairly friendly here in Palagia. We don't mind answering a few questions. Let's barter, sir. Uh, that looks cool considering how crap it is. 
I mean, maybe we could just buy us some freaking, like, pauldrons or something? Or greaves? Uh, that's right. We already... What do we have? 31, 31, and the Imperial Greaves are 20. Okay, so it's worse than what we have. I thought it would be, but it was worth checking. Okay, so these have special attack, I guess? Interesting. What do they cost? Not very much. I mean, we're not an archer. At least I don't, I don't think I picked archery. I don't bloody remember. Um, yeah, I really wish I... I, I really, at the end of this episode, I'm going to go back to the first video that I made and check uh, which stats I picked, because... Probably just a good idea. Your goal to 65. Okay, so let's just make double sure we can't sell him on miscellaneous. No, we can't. In that case, get out of my goddamn sights. Is there an upstairs to this place? Yes, there is. Is the guard up here? Yep, totally is. Yes. Don't mind me, buddy. Just uh, sizing the place up to see what I can steal. Got another kettle. There's a door. Oh, this door's locked and it's level 10. I don't think we have any lockpicks left. I think we busted the only one that we had. Uh, we have a probe, which is for disarming traps. And even that's nearly busted. We need to see if we can find someone who's selling lockpicks. That's a good point. Maybe the regular trader has some. I didn't notice it, but I wasn't really looking, so... I'll go back out and check that in a moment. I think this might be the final house around here that we haven't been in? Does it, does it even have an entrance? Oh god, I'm stuck. How do you get in this place? Uh, it's locked in. It's quite high level, so I guess we're not going on there now. Um, this has got to be uh, where the prisoners are kept, right? Any time now. What's this about? Mm, I feel like they don't want me to come in here. I feel like I'm gonna get attacked if I do. Any time. So it's uh. Okay, maybe not. Do either of you have names? You're an archer. I'm an officer of the Imperial Legion, move along. Tell me about the Imperial Legion, the most disciplined and effective military force in history. The Imperial Legions preserve a peace, preserve the peace and rule of the law in the Empire. Okay, preserve the peace. Many forces threaten the peace of Morrowind. The Legion is here to pre Okay, you said that. I was hoping maybe you'd get a quest or something to help them. But no, there's another archer up there. And I guess we'll check out the fort. Why the hell not, man? Might be some good shit to steal, or, um, you know, maybe there's, uh, more shops in here. Actually, seems like there is. Okay. Say your needs. Well, I'd like to steal all of this. That's, uh, oh, good lord. Talking about dude looks like a lady, what the hell? That, that's, I mean, those are boobs. That's a dude's face. I don't care if you're an orc. You have the manliest face I've ever seen. I'll be there, I'll be over to you, stranger. I'm Shad... Okay, I remember hearing about you. People are fairly friendly here in Palacios. We do okay. Butter. You are an armor person, which means I'm gonna. Oh god, I want to sell the soul gems, man! We have so much money tied up in that. Mm. Pauldron, it's heavy. Need medium armor, you dick. What's this? Curious. Not really what I'm looking for. Well, uh, I guess you're not really that useful to me. Okay, I think. Is that it in this room? Is there another one over here? Nope. Okay, let's check out. Over here, because... I don't know, this is, uh... Is that a soul gem on the floor? No. That is one of the flowers that we needed, though. There's no one in here to see me stealing. Let's quick save, just to save time. Okay. Give, give me the rest of the money. No, oh, I don't want the plate. God damn it. Where is it? Uh, let's get rid of you. Uh, Okay. Yeah, we'll leave the book for now. We're pretty close to being over encumbered. Okay, so this is one of the altars that we can get cured of diseases at, I guess? Would you like to make a donation of 25 and receive a blessing? Sure. Cure disease, cure blight, cure poison, restore attributes. Interesting, let's restore attributes. Oh! That's a cool looking candle, man. I don't know what, I have a weird obsession with candles in this game. Okay, so it's like uh, the blood of Christ or something. I mean, you know, it's Morrowind, so it's probably not supposed to represent that, but that's what it makes me think of. Silverware bolt. There's no way of grabbing items in this game, is there, to pick them up and throw them around, I don't think. Uh, south wall. Mmm, this guy walks funny. North wall. Another door. Hi. Who are you? Don't stand about. Get moving. Oh, shut up. Blessings of the Nine, Jason McGrizzle. I'm Yugfa. 
For Blasiat Healer and Adept of the Imperial Cult, I barter for potions and other goods. Get each a number of spells. All proceeds go to the benefit of the Imperial Cult and its many worthwhile projects. Would you like to join the Imperial Cult? Yeah, this reminds me. You may remember, I think it was in episode 7. There was a dude talking about joining the Imperial Cult and he said you have to offer like uh, 50 uh, septims or whatever they're called in this game. And I couldn't figure out how to join the cult, even though he plainly in front of me told me like four people that I could go speak to to actually do it. It wasn't him that you could join it through. He was just kind of passing on the message. So this might be one of those people that you can join it at. I don't know why I ducked and read that you can join it at different people and then completely ignored it afterwards. Just one of those things when you're commentating, sometimes you read something, but it just doesn't go in your head. It's just you're saying it out loud, but you're not actually paying any attention. So that was probably what happened. Uh, join the Imperial Cults. Okay. Uh, we accept all citizens of good character and earnest faith. We ask only a one-time pledge of 50 drake. Drakes, that's the word. Uh, to aid us in our good work thereafter, blah, blah, blah. And the custom membership comes when you use our health, healing, and blessing shrines. Modest fees which help us spread the blessings of the nine to those less fortunate than ourselves. Do you wish to join the Imperial Cult or would you rather I review the Imperial Cult requirements and doctrines with you before you join? Sure. T whoops. Jo tell, tell me the... What the hell? Why are they not coming up? Strange. Oh, you have to click it down there. Uh, to serve and glorify the Nine Divines, you must cultivate a noble personality. Well, that's already done. Yeah. And a strong will. Respect the magical arts, especially the College of Restoration, Mysticism, and Conjuration. Those who swear to avoid bloodshed, to take the field unarmored, to fight only with blunt weapons. Already, I'm already doing that. And especially praiseworthy, are especially praiseworthy, knowledge of enchantments and the gift of diplomatic speech are other qualities we look for in our initiates. Continue. So, this might be one of the, basically what I was told. For example, in the Mages Guild, in the other games like Oblivion Skyrim, you can just do the quest, complete the quest line, you're done. Uh, apparently in Morrowind, you actually have lower requirements. So, for example, uh, in the Mages Guild, they might be like, you have to have 25 destruction or 45, whatever, to rank up to the next rank. And until you get to the next rank, you can't carry on doing the quest. So, you actually do have certain level requirements. So, that kind of seems to be what she's hinting at here. Our doctrines are simple. We acknowledge the divinity of the Nine Divines. Akatosh, Debella, Arke, Zenithar, Mara, Stendar, Kinnereth, Julianos, and Tiber Septium. We preach the nine virtues. Humility, inspiration, piety, work, compassion, justice, ambition, learning, and civility. Our emperor is the defender of the faith, and the empire is the worldly working of the divine plan. We pledge aid and comfort to all citizens in need, and serve the emperor and the empire at his will. Continue. Our rules are equally simple. It is forbidden to attack another person of the Imperial cults, and of course forbidden to kill another cult member. It's forbidden to steal from another member, whether by open theft or by cover pickpocketing. It is forbidden to trespass upon the private property of another member, and private property being understood to be anything behind a locked door. Break any one of these rules, and you shall be expelled from the cult. Now, Jason McGrizzle, do you wish to join? I, I don't know if I can keep those promises, but yes, I will join. 50 gold has been removed, your journal has been updated for the gods, for my gods and emperor has been added to your, wait what? For my gods and emperor has been added to your inventory. Is that a book I guess? Your journal has been updated again. Sure. Have you ever, excuse me, have you ever encumbered me? No. How did I lose a bunch of weight? Did I sell some stuff? I know I tried to, I don't remember what I did sell though. Uh, so let's see if we can find what was given to us. Uh, yes, okay, so it is a book. Uh, how long is this? Quite bloody long. Seems to be mostly just what she already told us. Kind of the rules and whatnot. Yeah, I guess that's 14 freaking pages, man. Holy shit. Right, so anyway, what are you selling? Potions. Good. Do you buy any chat? No, you still don't want to buy this. Oh, wait, okay. This is, she only has 175, son of a bitch. 3,300, man, we need someone with a lot of money to sell that to. Um, so, are any of these particularly expensive? This one. You don't buy that? Oh my god, you suck. Brent. 
Uh, it seems like you only sell potions. Let's see what spells you're selling. Flame Guard, Frost Guard, Shock Guard. I can probably guess what they do. Yeah, resistance. Uh, what the hell is this? Restore health. Okay. I don't know if that's any better than what we have. It's cheap, so I'm going to buy it. Restore strength, blah, blah, blah. Righteousness. Absorb health 10 points. We'll buy that, sure. Uh, Cucumber Disease. We definitely want that. It's very cheap, but not cheap enough because we're, we're just shy. So let us try and sell you something. But if you're a potion person, I don't really know what I can sell you. Because I don't really want to get rid of any of my potions. So maybe we'll have to come back to you. But I definitely want that. As we've seen, disease is a huge pain in the dick. So curing that seems very handy. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to steal from this person. Considering they're right there. But, you know, we'll give it a try. It's kind of what I do. Is that another one? Small chest. There's a bunch of chests here. Pearl. Three of them? Okay. I still think they're going to see us. They did not. Okay. We can rub all this shit then. The green petals. Got to try and keep an eye out for the last leaf or whatever that we need. Small quam egg. Don't know why it's pink, but sure. Mm, don't need any of those. What the hell is that? Apprentice's mortar and pestle will take... Over here. Shit, no, we won't take that. Okay. So maybe we can take certain things of, like, a low value, since maybe why we got away with the pearls, but not the pestle and mortar? I don't know. Is there a way I can get you to turn around? I don't think there is. Um... Maybe if I walk away... And then walk near you, you'll whip around to look at me. Look at me! Acknowledge me! Oh, god damn it. Well, I guess if you're gonna face that... 75, man? What the hell? Can I... Can I take the pearls again? Drop wax. That's different to what was in there before, I think? I could be wrong. Oh, she's turned around. Oh, shit. This is, this is our chance. Kill the thing. Shit! God damn it. Okay, so how does she know? I don't know. Anyway, we should check the journal since it got updated a couple of times when we joined. Uh, let's go back. You like to walk? Yes. Uh, Jiren, blah, blah, blah. I've joined the Imperial Cult. Okay, so that was the first one. Uh, an Imperial Cult member gave me a copy of for my gods and emperor, a handbook for members of the Imperial Cult. Because that's what I thought it was. Alright, let's try not sneaking. Just take the pulse and see if we get away with it. Because it seems like we just kind of can... No. Okay, so she definitely didn't see us that time. So why is the Pestle and Mortar... See, it just seems like she's psychic when it comes to that. It's you very strange. Line, don't you? But I really want those... That's right, you stay... That's... Uh, no. Stay facing that way. Perfect. Let's try this again. I really want these paws, man. Okay, I think this is where they were. Yes. Just, just let me have the paws and I'll leave. Stop that, oh, you please. suck. Stop. Fine. We'll just leave anyway. God damn it. Mm. Oh, God, it's really annoying. Okay, well, let's see if we can find someone else around here to sell something else, too. It's just make for certain that we can't sell you these uh, soul gems. And, yeah, they do show up. I just forgot how to scroll, apparently. You don't buy them. Okay, I didn't think so. Oh, I really need someone to sell them to, man. There's got to be, like, a mage person around here or something. Uh, what the hell is that? What is that? Silverware. Oh, it's a plate, but it's just sunk into the, the carpets. Right. Uh, this is just going to take us out onto literally the wall, from what I can tell. Or not. Okay. Interesting. So where is this taking us? It looks like we're in a dungeon or something? Well, there's a bunch of shit around here to steal, but of course it's all locked and we don't have lockpicks. I mean, we could steal the broadsword, but it's not worth very much. It's very heavy. Yeah, I mean... Yes. Whoa, hello, buddy. There's some good shit to steal here, but we really just don't have the space right now. And we, we just need someone to sell the, uh... Why are you, what are you doing? Yes. Okay, well, this is definitely a prison. But yeah, we need someone to sell the, um... Uh, the soul gems, too. Okay, so this one's trapped, and we can uh, let him out. Are you a prisoner? What are you in for? N nothing. Hey, how's it going? I, look, I, I swear we've seen someone that looks like that. 
More bash grow shagged up. Right, what brings you here? Okay, so again, it seems generic. I mean, again, there, there could be a quest associated with these people, I don't know. Daughter Pelagiad for Pelagiad, lock level 90 fucking 5. Chest marked evidence. Okay, so what I would guess is just like in Oblivion. Uh, if you get arrested in Oblivion, I think you lose all of your gear. Something like that, and then you keep like one lockpick, and if you can bust yourself out, you can then go to the evidence chest and get your stuff back. Or at least all your stolen goods, or it, it, it's either all your stolen goods or all of your goods entirely, I can't remember which. Uh, I think it's all of your goods if you actually get thrown in a cell. So this is probably the same thing, that's probably where we would recover our stuff. I don't really know exactly. But, uh, yes, yeah, so it's not really what we're looking for. Again, I would just love someone that I can sell these damn soul gems to. I mean, I know this, I, we can sell them at the Mages Guild, but no one had any money. Was the problem. And no one else we found so far is actually buying them. I think we're about done in here, or we can go up. Sure, let's have a look very slowly what's getting stuck on everything. You look very important. Angeril. Welcome Outlander, what brings you? Okay, can I help you find a specific place? Uh, training? What are you training? You do not have the good fortune to be a member, Jason McGrizzle, so you must seek elsewhere for your services. Okay. Hey, What is your trade? I am a master at arms. I am a master of all the basic hand weapon types, long blades, short blades, axes, blunt weapons, and spears. I am willing to train with weapons for a fee. But you won't train me. Requirements. Legion selects uh, for endurance. The soldiery virtue and personality, the citizen's virtue, blah blah blah. Alright, I don't really care about that. Okay. I, I don't... I don't... Oh god, my ch Son of a bitch, hang on. My chair's sinking. Right, well anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know what that person's about, but they look important. Let's go up here. I feel like we're gonna get stuck on, on the wall now or something. Pretty much, yes. I really don't want to walk all the way down. It takes so bloody long. Can I cheat in TCL? It's gotta work, right? Collision off. Aha! Alright, let's just go back down the easy way, because I'm far too lazy to do that again. Right, so anyway, let's uh, put collision back on, and... North wall, okay. I'm I, uh, just trying to think where we would go to uh, yes. sell the damn soul gems. Because that's really my priority right now. Without any money, we can't get the cure disease, and, you know, anything, really. So I guess we'll keep looking around for the flower for now? Uh, let me double check the name of the flower that we're looking for. It is... Willow Anther. Let's also check our inventory and make sure we don't have a Willow Anther. Ash Yam, Heather, Curve, Sunflower, Gold Canet. Alright, there seems to be all of them, so yes. It's the only one we're looking for. Isn't this is Heather as well? Yes. No, I know there's a yellow flower over here. I think this is gold cannon. It would make sense, you know, yellow, gold. But let's check, just so we don't have another situation like we did with the mushrooms. And I'm still in, not entirely sure exactly where they want us to go. Uh, so let's read it. South of Balmora, head to east past Fort Moonmoth and cross Foyada on the road to Pelagiad. After leaving the Foyada, I should take the road to Suran, which runs along the north shore of Lake Amia. Where is Amia? Go southeast of Balmora, past Fort Moonmoth, then follow the signs and take the road to Pelagiad. After you cross the fort... Yeah. The problem is I don't know where the Foyad of Mamiya is. Valley is made by lava from Red Mountain. It's very old, very easily recognized, and old Dunmer Bridge crosses the Foyad of Nif... Oh god, I feel like we missed it. I really do. Or it was that uh, dead-looking place with the trees a long way back. Which, frankly, seems entirely possible. Let's check the road signs before we keep going. Just to make, uh, Stoneflower. Okay, we already got that. So we're looking for Suran. I'm pretty damn sure Suran was not listed on any of these signs. No. So I feel like we've gone too far and we need to go back again. In that case, I guess I'm gonna cut out a bit of the traveling since we've already been along this path and you can see quite how bloody slow my character walks. And I'll bring you in, you know, if something interesting happens, or I find the flower we're looking for, or, you know, I get to where we're supposed to be going. Yeah. 
really, uh, really lost right now. Okay, I found a flower here, and unless I'm mistaken, yeah, Willow Anther, and this one's just called Willow Flower, so is it going to give me Anther? Oh my god, we got it! Okay, so now we can go back to Balmora, thank you. Uh, this is where we are, if this makes any sense. The uh, town sort of just off the map over here, so we're not too far away. Am I going the right way? Yes, I got all spun around there. So Balmora should just be back in this direction, so I'm going to keep going. What is that? Is that like a bandit or some shit? So let's quick save it. <laughs> I'll punch the shit out of you. Should probably put my fists away just in case they are friendly. What can I do for you, friend? Okay, that was kind of scary. Hello, Muri Uruman. Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. Your journal has been updated. Gee, I wonder if this is a trap. Uh, bandit? Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, though he did take my jaws. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Are you fucking insane, lady? Also, you look like uh, Angelina Jolie, like a young Angelina Jolie. Is, uh, am I the only one that sees that? I mean, the hair looks fucking weird, but, you know. Jewels! What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just wanted to find that bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Nellos. Nellos Onmar. A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. Well, the only thing that's going to be on your lips by the sounds of things. His schlong's going to be... That's what I'm getting at. She wants to give him a blowjob. Uh, perhaps you can find him for me. Please! I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you not help me for the sake of love? What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. I have no time for your foolish games, girl. I will try to find this man, if only for love's sake. We will do that. You'll try, thank you so much. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head north. So I imagine he might be found in Pelagiad. Son of a bitch. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me. As a token of my love, I'm certain he will want to find me again. Left glove has been added to your... Can I wear this glove? I really want to know if I can wear this glove. I totally can, can't I? Oh my god, we're Michael Jacksoning that shit up. Let's have, let's have a look at our glove. Yeah! Shall, shall more motherfucker! Okay, let's check out the journal. Oh, this game's insane. Uh, yeah, while on the road, uh, northwest of Pelagian, I met a beautiful young Breton woman, Dave, who seemed distressed after being attacked by a bandit. It seems this young woman is not as distressed as I thought she was, or at least not for the free reasons that I thought she was. It seems that although this bandit, Nellis Onmar, has stolen her jewels and her gold, she has, he has also stolen her hearts. Foolish girl. Marie has asked me to track down this Nellos and to deliver him her glove as a token of her affection. It seems a silly task, and she offers no reward, and asks me to do this simply for the sake of love. Next. I've agreed to try and find the bandit Nellos Onmar, and to deliver the glove of this young Breton woman. She believes he is in Pelagiad, so perhaps I can find more about him there. I fear for her hearts, for these outlaws care nothing for others, only for the booty they can obtain. Sounds like my kind of guy. Also, I feel like that's a double entendre. Let's go. It's this way, I believe. Yes, right. So here's what we get. First of all, let me try and remember. She's by this specific mushroom. I'm not going to remember that. There are many mushrooms around here. But anyway, um, I'm going to head back to Palaisia. And once again, I'm going to cut out the trip. Again, unless something happens. Because it's very slow. And there, yeah, we'll go talk to him. Then we'll probably end the video after that. I don't know. We've been going for a while, but I don't want to end the video where we started back in the same town. I want to get this done. So, yeah, give me a moment here. Okay, we're back in Palaisia. Let's check out the tavern. Because we didn't spend that long in there. And she did mention that he's a dark elf. So, I'm guessing he's going to be in here. Almost the thing is going to be this guy. Nope, and that's a hell of a freaking name. What the hell? Make it quick. Let's see if we can say this. Yakum Heshashi She. Wait, what? Heshash Ishi. Heshashi She? Yakum Heshashi She. That's a hell of a name. What the hell? What? Yakum? Me? Speak Ashland. Not speak so good, old elf. Sorry. Right, so he's one of the foreign types. He don't speak the English so good. Know that feeling? Okay, except when we ask him questions. 
That's weird. Okay, speaking of dark elves, let's see if we can find another one. You up, seem to be as well. Oh, we ahead. found him! What up, bandit buddy? Hello, Jasmine Grizzle and Nellis. This is the village of whatever. Um, how do we give you the the glove? You have what? How odd. She was a young, lovely young woman, but what would she want with a rogue like me? She is beautiful, though, and seems sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her you have a note from Nellis. I must see her again. I won't forget this, friend. Uh, Marie's left glove has been removed, and we got a note from Nellis. I wonder if we can read it. Am I not going to be wearing a glove now? No, I'm not. Let's put that on. There we go. No more MJ. And let's see if we can find the note from Nellis. Uh, there it is. Marie, truly I was enchanted with you from the moment I saw you. I beg your forgiveness for my past transgressions. While I cannot imagine, how did he knock this up this quickly? Like, oh, he just had it in his pocket like he knew this was going to happen. It was fates. Well, I can't imagine what a woman of your beauty and breeding would see in a rogue such as me. I thank the gods that you have sent for me. I will come for you, to you as soon as I can. Until then, yours, Nelos. Well, that was a bit bloody easy. He robs her and he gets the woman as well. He really is a rogue. If only life were that simple. You go rob a woman and then still bang her. Life don't work like that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go back to her. Then I think we'll end it there. Okay, and quite some time later, we have arrived back at Marie. Now, what I expected to happen here was kind of the classic, like, oh, can you help me? And then you go to help that person, and they're actually working with the person that they claim to need help from. You know, like, oh, I was robbed. And then you go to save them from the robber, but really they're a robber as well, and it's all a ruse. So I thought, you know, she was in on it. <laughs> it seems like she's not. Hello, how's it going? Let's find that bandit. I believe he's in play. Oh, shut up. Uh, baby. Note from Nellis. He gave you a letter to give to me? Wonderful. Thank you. I knew that, uh, he cared. <laughs> really. You know, you didn't have to do all of this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend, Emerseti Brakez and tell Arun. She's a wonderful person, and I think you two will get along famously. Right. So... Is she setting me up with her friend? Is that what I'm getting from this? Maybe we can, you know, go, uh, go get our end away. I don't know. I brought the note from Nellis on Mar back to Marie. Something. Ermine? Uh, uh, they call it Ermine. Uh, she seemed overwhelmed by its contents and is full of gratitude for me having delivered it. In return, she has suggested that I visit her friend, Emerset Bracket Brex. Bra Brackies? I don't know. In Telerune. She believes I would do well to meet this woman and that we might enjoy one another's company. I've seen stranger things happen in the past few days. I like the little personal touch to the uh, the journal. It's like my guy's actually got a personality. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. I hate this helmet and we need to replace it soon. Speaking of which, I do want to go back to that swamp and murder that bandit who had a helmet on because I want to wear that shit, so... Maybe off camera I'll walk all the way back there. I don't know. Either way, we need to go back to Balmor anyway. It was kind of close, so... Yeah, we might start there next episode just to try and get that bandit's helmet. I don't know. Depends how lazy I am. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate a like, and I will see you next time. For more Morrowind.